In the previous video, I set up my Premiere project folder to have all my sound effects, my music, and the folders of image sequences that I exported from Maya. Now I have a new project that is empty in Premiere. If you don't have a project, you can go to File, New, Project, and it'll create a new project. You want to make sure that you put this project in your folder that has all of your assets. You can click on the Browse button to browse to your folder. Make sure you label your project something other than Untitled. I already have a project named, so I'm going to press Cancel. Even though I have a project in my folder, I don't have any media to work with yet. I can double click in the lower left where it says Import Media to Start, or I can go to File, Import. It will open up into the project folder. Here I have, here I have four folders of exported image sequences from Maya. I have a music file. I have a text file showing the music credits for this file. I have some sound effects downloaded from Adobe. I have a screenshot of the music license credits download screen for the music I'm using. And I have my Premiere Project file. All of these should stay in the same place within your Premiere Project folder. I'm going to import the music and sound effects files first. The music and sound effects are represented by green file icons. Then I'm going to go back to File Import. And I'm going to import my image sequences. To do that, I'll twirl out one of the cameras. I'll select the first image, then click on the Options button and select Image Sequence. On Windows, there may not be an Option button, but make sure you click the Image Sequence checkmark after selecting the first image. Click Import. Now you'll see this will come in as an Image Sequence video clip. I'll repeat that for the other cameras. Go to File, Import. This time we'll select Camera 2. Options, Image Sequence, Import. File, Import. This time we'll select Camera 3 and Import. And then we have one more camera to import. File, Import. Under Camera 4, I'll select the first image. Options, make sure Image Sequence is checked. Select Import. Now we have all the assets that we need to assemble our video. We can simply drag over the image sequence clips. I'll drag over camera one, and Premiere will automatically create a sequence. You can see this sequence icon over in your project window. We can rename this file because it will just use the default name of the first file drug in. I'll double click this and rename it animation sequence. Now it is easier to tell in the project window which file is which. If I click into the timeline window on the right and press the spacebar, my animation will play. But it will only play from that camera. So what I need to do is bring in my other cameras. I can shift select them all and drag them in. If I put a camera on top of another camera, notice now I only see that camera image. If I click this eyeball, I'll see the images below it. I'm going to go ahead and stack all of my images in the same spot. So now I have four video tracks, and I can see all of these cameras. So this is camera four. And notice that I can see behind my images. That's because by default, Maya exports an alpha channel or anything that was in the background. This can be a fun effect, but I probably don't want that happening. What I'm going to do is turn off the eyeballs for camera two, three, and four. I want this to be the beginning scene. So I'll press the space bar. And I think right when I get down here, I don't want to be in this view anymore. So I'll press C on my keyboard or click the razor icon here and I'll cut this. Then I'm going to press V and delete this part of the sequence. So now if you see, I only am seeing this section. Since I'm not using these top clips, I'll hold the shift key and then drag the playhead and it will snap. If yours doesn't snap, you may not have the magnet turned on. So make sure you have the magnet turned on, hold the shift key, and you'll see it snap to the end. Then press C on your keyboard, and then I can cut these clips, press V or the arrow key, and then I can delete these. Now I can turn on the eyeball for the next camera. So now when I get closer, 
I'll see the ball from this angle and it'll bounce off to right there. Wherever I think that it is reasonable for it to stop, I'll get the C key. And here I'm working on video track two. I'll press C. And I'll also cut these clips on top, press V to get the arrow tool, select these, and then press delete. So now we can watch the animation. So we can see that we have two camera cuts. Now we'll move on to camera three. We go past the first one. We see it bounce off. And then we see camera three. It cuts in and we have this tennis ball that is moving and it's going to smash right into the liquid. I think I'm gonna to go to about here. Press C to cut it. And this time I need to cut the video below and above. Press the V key to get the arrow tool. Click on the top video, press delete. Click on the bottom video and press delete. And now I have this image sequence of three clips. Now I'm going to show the fourth camera. And when I get to the fourth camera, it's just the coffee cup sitting there after that initial bounce. So then I can delete these two scenes and we'll see that. So now let's go ahead and press play. So probably I want this to be a little bit different and then I can just simply drag these clips to different lengths that I want and they should snap together. So then you can play and adjust to something that you like. I think actually I'm gonna keep this as the last. I'll drag this one out and this one in. And then somewhere around here, I'll cut them and reverse them. Then I'll hide this one. I think I want this to be the ending clip. So I just wanna start up in the air. I have a parented camera to the ball. So I think I just want to see we're going down like this. Yeah, I think, I think we wanna see that, that action coming in just like that. I'll press C to cut both of the clips. I'll delete this clip and then that clip. And now let's take a look. I think that works a little bit better. So you can put all of these clips on a single video track if you want. This allows for quick editing with the rolling editing tool. So if I, if I click and hold here, I can get the rolling edit tool or press N. And that allows me to click in the middle and I can move back and forth and see the beginning and ending frame. So if I want to adjust the timing, it's a good way to do that. This is no different than having both clips and manually moving them. It just can save time. So whatever way works for you is good. So let's see what our clip looks like. All right, so we have four scenes in our animation. Now we need to add some sound effects. So I'm going to bring in that liquid marble dropping and I'll bring it into the audio track and let's find out where our tennis ball falls in. So right about there, I think right at this, um, almost that break. So I'm gonna drag it over a little bit. This slider on the bottom allows us to zoom in. It will zoom in right to where the playhead is. On the left here, I can drag down to expand the length of the audio clips. And then I can see where that is. So it's going to, I'm gonna move the playhead back and then play that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's zoom out a little bit and I'll play from the beginning. Play it one more time. I think it's a little early, so I'm gonna zoom in and just move this down one frame. I think that will be a little bit better. So let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, I think that's a better timing. Now notice that it's very quiet up until that point. That's why we have our ambient grocery store entrance. So I'll drag that over and notice that this is a very long sound. So let's see what that sounds like from the beginning. Perhaps not the best sound for this desert scene, but I think it works well. 
So we'll go ahead and trim both these. I'll hold the shift key and it'll lock to this spot. Press C twice. Then I'll hold V and delete these. So I think what I'm gonna do is drag this clip out and I'm just gonna lower the volume. I can click and drag this line and it'll just lower the volume a little bit. So now let's bring in our music. If I bring in this music, this is very dramatic music. If I play from the beginning, it really, that works well. It has a little fall right where it drops and then dramatic, and then we can have it fade out into the credits. So let's see how that sounds one more time. I think I'm gonna cut it right here, press V and delete it. Now I need to add attribution for this music. That is very easy to do. I'll go to my text file that I saved the credits for. Here in my animation project, I have my music credits text file that I copied the attribution notes. And these need to be exactly like this. So I'll press copy. Here in my Premiere project, there are many ways to add text and do animated graphics, but we can just click this text icon click in the program monitor and then press control V or command V. It's gonna come in very large. So then you can select the arrow tool and just drag it down. Don't make it too small that you can't read, but put it in the middle and then I can move it to the middle and there we go. Uh, but if you look at where it is on the timeline, it's way over to the left. So I need to drag this over to the right. And then I think I'll leave it on the screen and then let it go black. To have just a little bit of black at the end, I can right click, new item, and then I can click black video, press OK, and I can drag this black video to the end. And that'll just give us a nice ending. On this music clip, if I want it to fade out, over on the left, I can click these arrows, go to effects, type in fade, select exponential fade, drag it to the clip, and it'll appear here, so it'll fade out nice. So now let's see what this looks like. Perfect, we have our sound effects, our ambient noise, our music, and then at the end, we still have our music playing while we see the credits and attribution for the music. So hopefully this helps you add sound effects and music to your animations to make them come alive. Happy animating!